In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, and including those who are celebrating with us this Mass uh, via Zoom and uh, Facebook, the staff and uh, personnel of CBCP uh, Media Office, who was founded by Archbishop Oscar Cruz. We join together our prayers as we open this Mass for the eternal repose of the soul of Archbishop Oscar. And to make ourselves worthy to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to man our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. We pray, Almighty God, that the soul of our de departed servant, of your departed servant, Archbishop Oscar, to whom you committed the care of your family, may with the manifold fruits of his labors enter into the eternal gladness of his Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a large white throne, and the one who sat on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence until they could no longer be seen. I saw the dead, the great, and the lowly is standing before the throne. Lastly, among the scrolls, the book of the living was opened. The dead were judged according to their conduct as recorded on the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead, then death and the netherworld gave up their dead. Each person was judged according to his conduct, then death and the netherworld 
were hurled into the pool of fire, which is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found inscribed in the book of the living was hurled into this pool of fire. Then I saw new heavens and a new earth. The former heavens and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no longer there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my life and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my life and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. The Lord is my life and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. According to John, glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed and said, Father, all those you gave me, I would have in my company where I am, to see this glory of mine, which is your gift to me, because of the love you bore me before the world began. Just Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And these men have known you that you sent me. To them I have revealed your name. And I will continue to reveal it so that your love for me may live in them and I may live in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. The cremated remains of Archbishop Cross, Cross was um, interred an, an hour or so ago this morning in uh, the Gupan um, in the presence of the clergy of the Archdiocese of Lingayen Dagupan, uh, presided by Archbishop Socrates Villegas. Um, today we are also doing this memorial mass, um, probably with the presence of the media in Manila. They are watching us now, uh, the media office, because like the bishop has said earlier, it was Archbishop Oscar Cruz who uh, operationalize the media office of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines. Um, he assumed as president of CBCB in 1996 or 95 November. In 1996, uh, he started working on uh, the media. Um, actually, there were three offices that were not operational in CBCB. 
that was in the instructions. One will be the office of the media, media office, although there was a commission on mass media, and then the research office, and then third will be the legal office. All of these three, he operationalized in a couple of months, and they were running right away. Um, he was not a media savvy until he became president of CBCP. Um, from the time on, um, the handahan, uh, the, the work of being prophet had been very clear. And he would be proclaiming the truth, the gospel, Christianity through media. Um, he was maybe the first bishop in the Philippines who had a Facebook account. He may be the first bishop in the Philippines, or even Asia, who had the first Twitter account. He had that. And as early as 2004 or thereabouts, he, he had a, a blog, a blog. And since 2000, at that time, he would write a blog uh, three times a week, walang patid, kahit bagyo. He would release the blog Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hindi nagpumalya yon kahit anong mangyari, kahit may sakit, he would write those blogs three times a week. You can find it, it's still running in, in, in um, blogspot.com, ovc.blogspot.com, still there. His last blog was in November 2017, that was the time he got sick and became weaker the whole of 2018 and 19, and finally when he died this, this month. Um, hindi ko akalaing na he would be like that. Parang nag-transform <laughs> when he started working in the media. Um, walang takot, walang takot na prophet. Ito yung, ito yung tao na uh, maraming court cases sa kanya. Sobrang daming court cases. And each one of them, he will attend the arraignment. And the cases uh, lodged against him was because of his attack against gambling, the waiting lord. He would be sued. Wala naman nag-prosper so far sa mga kaso na yun. But he would go, each one, without fear. Hindi tulad natin na pag mayroong isang ano, problema, di na makatulog siya, nakatulog, nakatulog. Nakatulog siya. Peacefully. I know that. I know that. Kasi magkatabi ko ako namin. Chapi lang pagitan. I, I, I know uh, 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 how he, he does that. Um, very prolific. Um, whenever there's some, some, something to, to talk about, he would talk. And he would always be in the line of the Christian message. Especially the social teachings of the church. He was about. He was able to write fifty-four books. Fifty-four. Today we are celebrating the, the, the memorial of Saint Augustine, and I was reading the life of Saint Augustine. He was he was able to write three big but big books, big ones: the yeah, Confession, City of God, and then about the, the Trinity. Oscar Cruz, fifty-four. I'm guilty because there is two. There is two more in my computer two more to be published. It should be 57. 57 when he got sick. There is two more to be edited. Um, very, very prolific. He was a man who would work, and after working, he would rest. When he rested, he forgot the world. Ganun siya palagi. Very clean conscience. Pag umaga, ang kanyang table, pag ang dumarating sa umaga, pagkahapon tapos yan. Kaya walang makita ang papel sa table niya. Tatapusin yan kahit gaano kahirap na nagagawin. He would finish it during the day. This is how he is, how, 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 how his life was. Um, he was. He was really a proclaimer, a prophet, and a simplicity. His life was so simple. Before he was very famous on TV uh, as, as president of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, he, he was the Secretary General of the Federation of Asian Bishops Conferences. He would go to countries in Asia. But when he, he nobody knew him actually except a few. So, nung wala pang nakakilala sa kanya, he would bring me to eat 
along side streets, yung mga kakanin, doon kami kumakain ng, di kami, di kami kumakain sa CBC. Kumakain kami doon, breakfast, hanggang gabi, hanggang tanghali. Doon sa mga tinakailan ng mga jeepney, you're familiar with that, right? Doon. So, kumakain siya doon. He would love that. Yung bang, sa, ang tawag niya, pinapagpag yung ano, pinapagtatanggalin ito. Tapos, ganun siya. Turo-turo yun. Turo-turo yun. <laughs> he would eat all of this every day. Nung makilala siya, he has to ask me, look for another restaurant, hindi tayo kilala. So, nagkano ako ng maliit na restaurant doon na siya pag kumakain. Despite the, na may mayroon naman kami pagkain doon sa, sa loob, he would go that simplicity. Very, very simple. So big yet so small. So big yet so small. And in, in, that, in, that, in, that, in that life, it was so witty. Minsan, yes. Uh, kasi he was the before he became the bishop of Archbishop of Legay de Gupan, he, he was working for the cat for the PCP2, Second Plenary Council of the, of the Philippines, sila ni Archbishop uh, Legaspi. Legaspi was the president, siya secretary general. Tapos nung after some years, sabi ko sa niya, Bishop, ano ba nangyari sa PCP2? Wala nangyayari, hindi nung implement Kasi nagawa sila ng, ng pastoral plan according to PCP2. Alam mo si told me, <laughs> napahiya ako, sabi niya. Pepe, kahit itong Ten Commandments, di pa na-implement hanggang ngayon. <laughs> Ganun siya, very witty. And then, one day, kasi gusto siya humahawak ng ano, siya humahawak ng tribunal, ng mga, ng mga declaration of nullity, siya yun. No? Hindi siya nagkakasal. Pag nagkasal yan, misa lang, kung hindi mo ng priest to solemnize the wedding, kasi sabi niya, ayoko naman magkasal na ako maghihiwala eh. So, ganun, ganun siya, no? And then one day he told me, sabi niya, alam mo Pepe, naniniwala na ako na may Diyos. Kumakain kami ng breakfast doon, naniniwala na ako na may Diyos. Bakit po? Kayo ka lang naniniwala, arso bispo ka na. Alam mo kung bakit, sabi niya. Kasi kung wala yung Diyos, nasira na ang simbahan sa mga kalukuhan natin. Kalukuhan ng mga pare, ng mga obispo. <laughs> He'll be saying that. If I were to write all those witty sayings, napakarami siya. Sobrang dami. Every day he would blurt out with things like those. Very practical, very witty, very short, and very deep. Ganun po si Archbishop Oscar Cruz. He had this big crusade against wedding because na, nakita niya that ang, ang problema ng Pilipinas, corruption was, it was even the, kung mayroong narco politics in, the middle, in, in Latin America, sabi niya, sa Pilipinas, it's the gambling politics. Lahat tumatawid because of gambling money, wedding, lalong-lalo na sa Central Luzon or in Luzon itself. Kaya he would fight that out. And during those times, almost every now and then, may text, may tawag, may mga death threats sa kanya. Pero hindi siya natitinag, lumalakad siya araw-araw because kanyang exercise, lumalakad siya eh. Nasa tabi niya ako, lumalakad siya. And, and, and hindi lang yun. Almost every month, nakakatanggap siya ng check eh. I think galing sa mga wedding lords. Siyempre, para busalan, ano? Makita mo yung check eh. Ang lalaki eh. 30 million, 20 million, 50 million. Pag gumarating yun, he would call me up, sabi niya, punitin mo at itapon mo sa basurahan. Itinatapon sa basurahan. Hindi siya katitinan. He was like that. This is the, the, the man who, who really um, talagang isa lang tinitingnan niya. Ang, ang hindi ko lang maintindihan ito si Father Kenneth. Kasi canon lawyer siya eh. Ako naman, wala akong karapalam sa canon law. Hmm. Sabi niya, alam mo kung basic, bakit basic. ang dakit magulo yung mundo kasi hindi, ka, hindi, hindi maintindihan ang canon law. Eh. Sana, 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 for him, next to the Bible was canon law. Yung code of canon law. Ganon, ganon ang kanyang, kanyang tingin. Kaya, sa kaya straightforward ang, ang kanyang, ano, because maybe because of that. I like the gospel today because this gospel is talking about one that brings me nearer to the perspective of the Archbishop. In the Gospel today, which is taken from the Gospel of John, 
it, it talks about um, I have Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And these men have known that you sent me to know the Father. In the Gospel for the St. Augustine today, it's about staying awake, being vigilant. For me, in the context of, of the art, what they are doing today, of the life of Archbishop Oscar Cruz, knowing the Father for him means only one thing. Being prepared for him means only one thing. Not only being prepared like the Boy Scouts. For him, knowing the Father and being prepared was about responding to the daily needs of the church and of people. Kung may nangangailangan, pupuntahan niya yan. May nangangailangan, pupuntahan. Kahit gaano kalayo, gaano kahira, pupuntahan yun. Nasabi ko kahapon, minsan nakikita ko sa kanya maliit na maliit na sasakyan, may nakakarga na dalawang sakong bigas. Sabi ko sa kanya, siya, para, para sa abit, para kang bigas. Tumawa sa akin. Nalaman ko lately na mayroong mga nagkakandahirap na mga tao doon sa Tarlac na nagrarally na, di ba, binaril noon, mga, mga rallista ng Asyanda Luisita. Alam nyo, he went through the, the police and ibinigay niya yung pagkain. Yung bigas. Marami yun, hindi lang yan. He would, he would join people. Patago, but he would go there. Uh, I'm, I'm not raising a saint out of Archbishop Oscar Cruz. Because marami din siya mga, mga, mga inconsistencies like you and me. Marami siyang mga pagkakamali. Marami din. But, but of course, not like si Uruguay. <laughs> but knowing the Father, being aware and being ready for Him was always like that. All His life was spent for that, for the truth. As a last point, hindi ko maintindihan siya minsan because pag mayroong dumarating na kanyang mga relatives sa Wangkin, Diri ano siya, hindi siya, ano, hindi siya, so, ako, pag may dumating na kipamilya ko, talagang nga anuhin ko, no? Kasi pamilya ko. He was not like that. He would treat everybody the same. Kaya minsan nagagalit yung kanyang mga pamangkit, ba't hindi mo ako pinapansin, ba't hindi ganun? Wala siya. In his convent, ang laki ng bento niya, he was alone. He was alone. Walang takatira doon. Dumarating lang doon yung mga tagaluto, yung taga kung ano nang nagsaserve sa kanya. He was alone. Walang pamilya. In one year, two years, hindi ko na, siguro may nakita ako na pong nakipag-usap sa kanya na family member niya. Siguro, in those span of 24 years that we were together, siguro mga tatlong beses lang. He believes that his priesthood was for everybody. His priesthood was for the church. His priesthood was for the body of Christ, not for any particular or so. When he retired, he left, of course, the Gupan. And because he was helping everybody, there was somebody, a student of, of him, who had a spare house in Manila. And he went to him, baka naman pwede ka tumira sa bahay na. Hindi ko lang mag-isa. I will just send you, ano, pagkain, whatever, at uh, tulong. Nagustuhan niya kasi siya lang mag-isa eh. He, he likes to be alone. But you know what happened? Before he got sick, um, so two years before that, he, he, he collapsed while taking a bath. And then he pulled me up and sabi niya, may realization ako. May realization ayaw kong mamatay sa bahay na to na medyo komportable. <laughs> ayaw ko. So he called up our Bishop Villegas, bring me back to CBCP, give me a very small room, I'll, gusto kong mamatay doon. He said, yeah, that will be, actually the house is not good, really. But for him, it was comfortable. So, he said, can you imagine if I die here? Ah, kahiya naman. So, so pumunti siya, bumalik sa CBC. Mayroong maraming bahay ang Archdiocese of Manila. Mayroong clergy house, may priest house, may dami, no? Ayon na doon. He went back to that simple room na 
yung maliit lang, it was there that doon bago din lang sa hospital at hindi practice last. That brings us concretely kung anong tao ito, si Archbishop Oscar Cruz. Um, let's pray for him. And let's pray for us na sana yung pinanindigan niya, panindigan din po nating lahat. Blessed Lord God for Christ, unto your goodness of His bread, the world was given you my hands, and made come for us our bread of life. Sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and good of all His holy church. We humbly beseech your boundless mercy, Lord, that this sacrifice which your departed servant, Archbishop Oscar, while in the body offered to your majesty, for the salvation of the faithful, may now bring him to your pardon. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of the blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Crispina our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Oscar, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in death like this, like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Augustine, and all the saints of peace you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father using the words our Savior gave us. Father in heaven, hallowed 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yes. your spirit. And we offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace with you. Peace with you. Peace. 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 Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold Him who strikes over the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, Lord they are not worthy, so they should under, under my roof, but on the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Ang hawak niyang tungkol, 
Ang siyang gabay ko Tama niyang pamalo Siglat ang bulan ko Let us pray. May your merciful kindness, which we have implored, O Lord, benefit the soul of your depa departed servant, Archbishop Oscar, that by these sacrificial gifts, he may know the eternal comp company of Christ, in whom he hoped and whom he preached. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So one time, the Archbishop Sok uh, Biligas told us, when uh, Archbishop Oscar Cruz was staying at the uh, CBCP in Intramuros, uh, yung pagkain daw niya, mayroon siyang uh, rice cooker. Ang ulam niya, before ma in maginin ang pagkain, inlagay lang sa ibabaw ng kanin, tapos takpan niya ang uh, rice cooker. So, niya, yan ang pagkain niya. So, Monsieur Pepe mentioned about uh, the simplicity of Archbishop Cruz. So, a prophet cannot be a prophet without being simple. So, he was really a prophet, especially condemning the illegal gambling in Luzon and other parts of the Philippines in his time. And that gambling exists until now. <laughs> Kaya, we need uh, people with principle like Archbishop Oscar Cruz. For us, uh, Bishop, it is a big challenge on our part. Mm. And uh, Archbishop Cruz, I have known him for just uh, a few, few years when he was staying at the CBCP. And uh, he mentioned me about... Uh, the problems in the church because as, as a canon lawyer as in charge of the national tribunal uh, he really discovered many problems but he told me like Mr. Pepe here to us uh, mayroong Dios na nagbigay ng order sa simbahan the church remains holy because God uh, creates this church but we as the uh, the one administering the church don't po may, may, may mga problema. But uh, that is part of our challenge in this world as we serve the church. Kahit ganito ang kalagayan, ay kung wala namang problema, ay hindi na, hindi na rin siya normal. Kaya habang nandito pati sa mundo, may problema. Kung wala namang problema, langit na yan. Uh, so our Bishop Cruz is praying for us. Uh, for us bishops, the priests, and the religious in the church, and the lay faithful. Because he died. Uh, yung bang completely giving himself to the church. He died using all his uh, talents and his uh, brilliant mind to serve the church. See, he was a very brilliant guy. And he really uh, has given everything to the church until death. So, Archbishop Cruz, please pray for us always to God that like you, we become prophet in the church and we fully dedicate ourselves to the church for the greater glory of God. And now we recite the Ratsu Imperata before the blessing. Please all rise. Horatio Imperata, a prayer against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray 
that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, a Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from every danger. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray, Pray for us. us. Saint Raphael Archangel. Pray, Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray, Pray for, for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And will mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We go with the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given. Jesus Christ is Son. Give thanks to the grateful heart. Give thanks. Of what the Lord. 